The article is called Global Intellectual History in International Relations, Hierarchy, Empire and the Case of Late Colonial Indian International Thought. The article is an attempt to bring global intellectual history into the international relations discipline. And I speak in the article in particular about Indian international thought and a group of thinkers and movements that were globally mobile in the opening decades of the 20th century. And I was looking at anti-colonial archives of Indian activists, independence activists. I wanted to write an article on some of the material that I found a bit puzzling. The sorts of arguments that emerge from these archives that are not so much about emancipation, but touch on ideas of empire, on ideas of colonization, um, and ideas that we might describe as hierarchical. And that goes against what we normally expect to see uh, in anti-colonial archives. So the article is really explaining how we can understand the presence of these ideas. Uh, and to do that, I, I turn to global intellectual history. There are three different sites in the article that I look at. The first site is the debate over the presence of Indians in East Africa. Some argued that East Africa should become a colony for Indian laborers and merchants, and that the Indians in East Africa could perform an almost civilizing role, um, civilizing what they refer to as the native population. Another site is the idea of Greater India. The idea of Akan Bharat, or undivided India, has emerged from certain elements of the Hindu nationalist right. Reimagining India's cultural and political space as incorporating not just India, but some of the regional countries as well, Pakistan, Afghanistan, Nepal, Bhutan, parts of Southeast Asia, and even right over to the middle parts of the Middle East and East Africa. And what I show in this article is that these ideas have a deeper historical lineage. They come from somewhere. And the third site uh, is the international political thought of Benoit Kumasaka, a Bengali sociologist who used some of the ancient Indian texts to argue for a deep tradition of Indian international thought that contained a lot of ideas um, of hierarchy uh, and empire within it. The article is important for those who are working on historical international relations. It's also speaking to a, a growth in studies on Indian international thought that really blossomed in recent years.